Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 15 and 16 from exercise 1.3, chapter number 1, Arithmetic Progressions. In my previous videos, I have solved the questions from 1 to 14. If you have not watched those videos, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. The question number 15 from exercise 1.3, chapter number 1, arithmetic progression says, A contract on construction job specifies a penalty for delay of completion beyond a certain date as follows. Rupees 200 for the first day, Rupees 250 for the second day, Rupees 300 for the third day, etc. The penalty for each succeeding day being Rupees 50 more than for the preceding day. So how much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he has delayed the work by 30 days. So here you see a construction job that specifies a penalty for delay of completion of the work. For the delay of the first day, rupees 200 should be paid as a penalty. If the work is delayed for the second day, again rupees 250 should be paid. And if it is delayed for three days, then the rupees 300 should be paid. Likewise, it will continue. And uh, for each succeeding day rupees 50 more should be paid by more than the preceding day so how much money the contractor has to pay as the penalty if he has delayed the work by 30 days so we have to calculate the sum when the work is delayed for the 30 days for all the 30 days we have to calculate the penalty uh, if the contractor has delayed the work by 30 days so first of all let us write down if the work is delayed for the first day then the contractor has to pay a penalty of 200. Similarly, for the second day, he has to pay rupees 250, and for the third day, he has to pay 300. Okay, rupees 50 difference is can be seen from the question here. Okay, every day rupees 50 is increased. Likewise, this will continue, and they are asking us to find out for 30 days how much penalty the contractor has to so we have to find out the nth term where n value is nothing but the 30 days so let us write down the ap first therefore let let the ap be 200 for the first day 250 for the second day and 300 for the third day likewise this will continue and we have to find the sum for the 30 days Okay, we have to find out the sum for the 30 days where n is equal to 30. So, they are asking us to calculate the uh, sum for the number of terms equal to 30. Okay, so from the AP, we can calculate the A value that is the first term that is equal to 200 and D, the common difference is A2 minus A1 that is 250 minus 200 where D is equal to 50. So, let us use the sum formula SN is equal to n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We are using this formula since the last term or the nth term is not given in the question. So, we are using this formula. So, let us substitute in the formula and find out the sum for 30 days. So, s30 is equal to 30 divided by 2 into 2 into a value is 200 plus n is 30 minus 1 into d is 50 okay so this will be 2 1 times 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so 15 into 2 into 200 is 400 plus 30 minus 1 is 29 into 50 so this is 15 into so let us uh, multiply this first so this will be 400 plus 0 into anything is 0. So, 5 nines are 45. 5 twos are 10. 10 plus 4 it is 14. So, add this value that is 1450 with 400. So, 1450 with 400 if you add 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 4 it is 8 and 1 comes down. So, we have to multiply this with 15 again. 5 zeros are 0 again. 
फाइव फाइव ज़ा ट्वेंटी फाइव एट फाइव ज़ा फोर्टी प्लस टू इट इज़ फोर्टी टू एंड फाइव वन ज़ा फाइव प्लस फोर इट इज़ नाइन इन टू वन ज़ीरो ज़ा ज़ीरो वन फाइव ज़ा फाइव वन एट ज़ा एट एंड वन वन ज़ा वन सो इफ़ यू एड ज़ीरो कम्स डाउन फाइव प्लस ज़ीरो इज़ फाइव फाइव प्लस टू इज़ सेवन एट प्लस नाइन इज़ सेवनटीन कैरी वन दिस इज़ टू सो दिस इज़ ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी देर फोर द सम ऑफ थर्टी टर्म्स इज गिवन बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट सो लेट इज राइट डाउन देर फोर द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हैज टू पे द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हैज टू पे अ पेनाल्टी ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन फिफ्टी इफ ही हैज़ डिलेड द वर्क फॉर थर्टी डेज इफ ही हैज डिलेड वर्क फॉर थर्टी डेज सो दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट इज सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट थ्री विच सेज अ सम ऑफ रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड इज टू बी यूज टू गिव सेवन कैश प्राइजेस टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अ स्कूल फॉर देयर ओवरऑल अकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस इफ ईच प्राइज इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी लेस दैन इट्स प्रिसीडिंग प्राइज फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ईच ऑफ द प्राइजेस सो हियर देर इज अ सम ऑफ रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड दैट हैज टू बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमॉन्ग द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर देर अकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस ओके दे आर से दे गेव अ सेवन कैश प्राइजेस टू द स्टूडेंट्स विद ईच प्राइज इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी लेस दैन इट्स प्रिसीडिंग प्राइज ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द ईच प्राइजेस सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू फॉर्म एन ए पी सो वॉट इज गिवन हियर द सम ऑफ रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड सो सम इज ऑलरेडी गिवन हियर विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ऑल्सो दे आर टेलिंग अस दैट दे आर गिविंग सेवन कैश प्राइजेस सो एन इज इक्वल टू सेवन ओके दिस इज द सम फॉर सेवन टर्म्स एंड ऑल्सो दे आर सेंग अस दैट द प्राइज इज ट्वेंटी लेस दैन इट्स प्रिसीडिंग प्राइज ईच प्राइज इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी लेस दैन इट्स प्रिसीडिंग प्राइज सो द कॉमन डिफरेंस बिटवीन ईच प्राइज इज ट्वेंटी लेस सो कॉमन डिफरेंस इज गिवन दैट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सो हाउ डिड वी गेट दिस माइनस ट्वेंटी आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हियर विद एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट अज्यूम द फर्स्ट कैश प्राइज इज ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड दे आर सेंग अस दैट ईच प्राइज इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी लेस दैन इट्स प्रिसीडिंग प्राइज सो द नेक्स्ट प्राइज और द सेकेंड प्राइज विल बी Twenty less than its previous price. Okay, the previous price was hundred. So we will subtract minus twenty. So you will get here eighty. Okay. Similarly, the third price will be twenty less than the previous price. So previous price, the second price was eighty. So this will be twenty less than the previous price. So this will be equal to sixty. Okay. Similarly, this will continue. So this is just an example how I showed. So here. the ap form will be the first prize will be 100 second prize is 80 and the third prize is 60 and so on so here if you calculate the common difference so a2 minus a1 is the common difference so what is the a2 term that is 80 minus 100 so we got minus 20 so we got minus 20 as the common difference so this is how we obtain minus 20 this is just an example which i showed here so since we are taking the a2 minus a1 we will get minus 20 as the common difference so always remember if in the question they have uh, mentioned rupees 20 less than its preceding price then we have to take d as minus okay so d is equal to minus 20 the sum value is given the n value is given d value is given so now we have to form an ap so basically uh, you must be knowing the general form of an ap is given by the first term is a the second term will be a plus d and the third term will be a plus 2d and so on so to form an ap we want the first term a and d okay if these two terms are there we can uh, find the ap so we know the d but we don't know the first term a so we will use this for, uh, since the sum is given we will use this formula and find out the first term a so the sum formula sn is equal to n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so let us substitute these values and find out the a value since the n is equal to 7 So S seven is equal to seven divided by two into two a plus seven minus one into d is minus twenty. 
so s7 is what 700 now if we bring this uh, 7 by 2 to the left hand side this term will reciprocate so this will become 2 divided by 7 is equal to 2a plus what is 7 minus 1 it is 6 into minus 20 okay so 7 1 times 7 1 times so 0 0 so 2 into 100 is equal to 200 is equal to 2a so plus into minus will be minus if we multiply these terms 6 0 is 0 6 2 is 12 so if we bring this minus 20 to the left hand side we will get 200 plus 120 is equal to 2a so this will be 0 plus 0 is 0 2 plus 0 is 2 and 2 plus 1 it is 3 so 320 is equals to 2a or a is equal to 320 divided by 2 so 2 1 times 2 1 times 2 6 are 12 and 0 therefore we got a value a value is equal to 160 we also know the d value as minus uh, 20 it will be the first term or the first cash price will be a that is 160 and the second cash price is what a plus d that is the second term so the, what is the second term a is 160 and d is minus 20 so this will be 140 because the second each price is 20 less than its preceding price since the first price was 160 in the second price will be 20 less than its uh, preceding term that is 160 so it will be 140 similarly the third price will be 140 minus 20 so that is 120 then the fourth price will be 120 minus 20 that is 100 then fifth one is 100 minus 20 that is equal to 80 and the sixth one will be 80 minus 20 is 60 similarly the seventh or the last cash price is 60 minus 20 is equal to 40 so we have found out all the seven cash prizes so let us write down in the ap form the first cash price is 160 second is 140 then it is 120 then fourth is 100 fifth is 80 sixth is 60 and seventh is 40 so these are the cash price seven crash prizes which we found out so this is the value the value of seven cash prizes so this is how we solve this problem if you have any doubts please comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number 17 from exercise 1.3 chapter number one arithmetic progressions so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you